Hey guys, and welcome. Today on ATPL Theory, we're going to be talking about aircraft mass and balance and where all the terms you might hear come from. So, what is center of gravity? Center of gravity is the point at which the mass of an object acts in a downward direction, essentially where all the masses congregate and act in a downward direction. It's essentially the balance point at which if you could hold the aircraft with one finger, it would balance on. It means all the forces are acting through that point in a downwards direction. The center of gravity is also a center of balance, essentially. It affects the performance and the stability of the aircraft, both in flight and on the ground, which is why it's important to calculate our weight and balance before we take off and essentially before we land as well. The center of gravity will move, whether it's due to fuel burn, people moving up and down the cabin on larger aircraft. And so the center of gravity does move However, it has to stay within those forward and aft limits, uh, and these are stipulated by the manufacturer. This is so that the controllability of the aircraft stays within the designed limits also. Have a look at my other videos to see what effect increasing the weight forward or aft has on the aircraft performance and characteristics. So what is the datum? Essentially, the datum point is where all the arms begin. They can be positive when they go aft of that datum, or negative as they come forward of that datum. And the datum can be anywhere. Uh, in a lot of light aircraft, it's actually on the nose of the aircraft, so all the arms are positive, essentially. On larger aircraft, it tends to be somewhere in the middle. It depends on the manufacturer where they decide to stick that zero point. The arm is the distance from that datum to a center of gravity of a certain mass that may be on board the aircraft, whether that be uh, an arm about this size for the pilot, an arm about that size for the passengers, Maybe if you have a cargo hull back here, an arm about that length. And that is the distance from the datum to the center of gravity of a particular mass. An important equation you need to know is moment equals mass times the arm. It's very easy to visualize. If you imagine my elbow as the datum, that would be the pivot point, and I stick a weight halfway down my arm, that same weight at the tip of my arm will actually create a greater force. I will, I will have to generate a greater force to counteract that weight over here than I will over here, because it's further away, the arm is longer. So, moment is mass times the arm. That same mass, further away from the datum point, will generate a bigger moment. Why? Because physics. So that is a moment, and it's important that we calculate the moment for every mass on board the aircraft, and where it is relative to the datum. Now you may have heard of a term called the loading index. Uh, this is designed because mass times arm can sometimes generate quite long numbers. And you'll know this if you fly light aircraft where you sometimes, for pipers, you're having to, to sum up you know, six, seven figure numbers uh, with decimal points in also for the moments and you have to add all them up. What a load index does is simply divide a moment by a constant, hence decreasing the magnitude of the number you get at the end. And as it's the constant throughout all the calculations you may do, you will still get percentage wise a similar answer than you would that big number. It will just be a smaller number which is easier to handle for calculations. Uh, on the 737, for example, we have a load index. Otherwise, we would end up having to deal with really long numbers, which would just take ages. Whereas if we divide that by a constant, every number by the same constant, we will have easier numbers to deal with. You would have seen on mass and balance charts that all we need is three columns, the weight, the distance from the datum, and the moment. In the POH, you will find the distance from the datum for any way you can add mass whether it be the fuel tanks, the passenger seats, the pilot seats, some cargo hold at the back, you will find a distance from that datum, normally in inches, uh, and you would multiply that by the mass you are putting in that area. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I would put 200 pounds times 30 inches, however far away I was from the datum, and that would give me my moment as a pilot sitting there. I would have to do that for everything that's been loaded up, including the fuel, and that would give me a total mass a total moment when I added them all up, and if I divided that moment by the mass, I would finally get my center of gravity limit, and I would get a distance from the datum, the arm essentially, of that center of gravity. And then I can go into my performance tables, or into my performance chart, and see if that is within the forward and aft limit for my weight. 